Welcome to another episode of Africa Farming. Of course, my name is Samuel. Uh, this channel is focused on new generation farmers and new entrants in farming who are willing to learn new farming practices. So take a second or two to subscribe. Hit on the notification bell for those people who've not yet done so. And to our avid subscribers, Asante Nisana for always, always coming back to watch our videos. If you've not watched our videos, go back to our channel, browse through some of the videos that we've shot, choose which is relevant to you and which actually you may find value in and let us know what you think about them. So as you can see, I'm holding a boulder of soil here and you can see the color is black. So um, today we, want, we just want to talk about the two types of soil, the black soil and the red soil. And as you can see, I've held um, the black soil. Of course, you can see from the color it's black. Um, this is characteristic of the farm that we are in here. But sometimes you might go to another farm and find that they have red soil. Um, this black soil is otherwise called black cotton soil or riga soil. And uh, today we'll just talk about three things about these two, these two different types of soil. We'll talk about the composition in terms of the elements involved. We'll talk about the texture and fertility. Uh, so that you know when you're choosing this type of soil, what are some of these factors that you need to consider? Why did we, for example, decide to buy land where we have black cotton and instead of a place where it has, you know, a place that has red um, volcanic soil? So let's start with the first one, the composition. Now for this black cotton soil or the black soil is actually rich in uh, what we call um, uh, organic matter such as humus, it's actually rich in nitrogen, it is rich in, you know, different types of uh, essential nutrients that, you that are required in the soil. Now when it comes to the red soil, red soil is actually rich in iron and that is why actually uh, its red color comes from, from, you know, uh, too much iron in the soil. So when you're considering uh, where to do your farming, you also need to consider the composition of that soil. When you go to a place that has red soil, just know it has a lot of iron. And when you choose black soil or black cotton soil, just know it has a lot of organic matter and that is why its color is black. Now when it comes to texture, red soil is actually very coarse. Yeah, it is actually very coarse, but at the same time it is porous. That's why most people prefer using red soil when it comes to construction of roads because it is porous. Water will just pass through. Uh, you cannot do construction of roads using black cotton soil because it's not as porous. And then the good thing about um, a black cotton soil, if you break it down, it is actually very fine. It is not like uh, it's not like red soil. Red soil is somehow coarse. No, the, the, the problem is it's not as porous as the red soil. So this actually makes it have a high water uh, retention capacity. So for example, if uh, it rains today here on this particular piece of land, uh, you'll find that uh, so much water will actually be retained as compared to someone who has the red soil. Um, another thing <clears throat> based on that is when it actually is dry, this soil will actually break. You'll actually find cracks. If you go around my farm where it's dry, you'll find that it actually has cracks as opposed to the red soil, which, you know, is perfectly composed when it comes to its texture and also on the ground. This one, when it's wet, it actually retains a lot of water. But when it's dry, it actually gets too dry, so hard. As you can see, it's very hard. Yeah, the boulder is very hard and it actually cracks. Uh, sometimes when it's too dry. Now, when it comes to fertility, um, both types of soils are actually fertile. But now when it comes to the balance, if you're talking about balance, you'll find that black soil is, or rather, black soil is more preferable because it has a lot of essential nutrients. It has organic matter, it has nitrogen, it has phosphorus, it has all those types of um, uh, essential nutrients that you require in your soil compared to the red soil that has more of the iron and less of these others. So you'll find that if you're practicing crop farming where we have red soil, sometimes you might need to add more, uh, for example, apply fertilizer that has more of these other essential nutrients compared to a place that has black soil. Um, actually, one of the things that uh, has happened in this particular farm is sometimes we plant even without adding fertilizer uh, because of how rich the organic matter is. 
<coughs> and other essential nutrients in this particular soil. So that is the difference when it comes to uh, black cotton and red, uh, uh, black soil and red soil. So one other thing is that you'll find that red soil based on its porous nature is prone to soil erosion. A lot of leaching can happen when it comes to uh, red soil. Uh, so even if you plant with your fertilizer, you'll find that at some point you have to also top dress because now when it rains, uh, the soil gets actually leached. You'll find that the fertilizer will actually be drained because it's very porous compared to the black cotton soil. Now when it comes to cultivation, by the way, it is very easy to do your cultivation on red soil compared to black cotton soil. As I've told you, when it is wet, this black soil gets sticky and you know it has the high water retention capacity so it's difficult to cultivate and also when it's dry it is very hard so in matters cultivation and plowing you'll find that the red soil is very easy to do as compared to black cotton soil so you'll find that um, when it comes to the types of crops that you'll plant in these two different types of soil of course the red soil will only have a small variety compared to the black soil red soil will be suitable for groundnuts uh, millet um, vegetables, pulses and all that uh, but now when it comes to cotton, I mean black soil you'll find that black soil has you know uh, is actually good for almost all types of, uh, of crops uh, because of the essential nutrients as I said but now one thing is uh, when it comes to uh, crops that don't require a lot of water or retention capacity of the soil the black soil will not be good for that so that is the only difference. Um, if you want to know more of the crops that you can plant in black soil and red soil, you can do your research and, you know, just come down in the comment section and let us know what types of crops can be planted on black soil and what can be planted on red soil. But essentially, those are the differences between the red soil and the black soil. So I hope you've learned a thing or two with regards to the two main different types of soils. Of course, the other types like sandy soil and all that. But in this case, we were just talking about the red and the black soil. Um, that's it for us today. And until next time, always remember to stay woke, stay peaceful, and always remember to changamuka na ukulima. Bye bye.